This video is sponsored by Kershaw, Next Level Pocket Knives. Use discount code 20archery23 for 20% off at kershawknives.com. Hey Archery Talk, this is Lucas and I'm here from the 2024 ATA show. It's about to wrap up over here and for the past three days I have been shooting and testing as many bows as I can get my hands on. Just me and my trusty Stan Jet Black that I've had for a million years. Now before I put this list together of my favorite bows from the show, a couple caveats are worth mentioning. One, I'm only getting to shoot you know five or six arrows out of each of these bows and two, they are set up to different draw lengths and different draw weights so it's hard to really get a perfect picture on what exactly is better than not but this is my opportunity to test these bows all in one place in a very quick succession. And so let's see who's on this list from five to one. Let's start this list off with a bang with the new Prime RevX 34. Uh, first thing I'm gonna say is that this kind of green to camo pattern is the sexiest looking paint I have seen on any bow at the show this year. Um, and beyond that, the, you know, I loved the Prime I shot last year. The 34 won my 2023 uh, hunting bow shootout. Uh, and I suspect with enough time, I'm gonna feel exactly the same way about this bow. Um, Prime is a, has been a, had a soft spot with me from day one. I just love how the bows shoot. I love their paint and their fit and finish. It takes a second seat to nobody. And the, you know, the Prime RevX uh, 34 is a great way to start this list. Number four for me is going to be the new Bowtech Core SR. Now, if you've watched my videos over the years, you might be surprised that a speed bow is gonna make my top anything. Um, and I fully came here expecting to be looking at the Core SS more than anything else. And truth be told, if I was going to buy one for myself, the Core SS would be the Bowtech I would get. But I was just so surprised with how the Core SR drew. Um, again, I've had a um, SR350 for a long time from Bowtech. And at 70 pounds, I just never got along with this. I shot this bow today and I measured it at 71 and a half pounds. And I was, I was blown away by that. Um, the draw cycle does not have the hump you expect from a from a speedbow. It's not, it's not like a buttery smooth one like the SS, but for a speedbow, I was absolutely thrilled at how this bow felt. It was in comfort mode instead of performance, so take that for what it's worth. But uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm an early surprise at how much I like the Core SR. And for that reason, it's number four on the list. Number three on our list is the Bear Alaskan XT. You might not expect to find a budget bow on this list, but I do like finding things that are offer you better value than maybe other types of bows on the market and the Bear Alaskan XT has that in droves. This is a retail price of $530 for the Bear Bow or $630 fully kitted out ready to hunt. That includes a, a quiver, a sight, a stabilizer, an arrow rest. But not only that, this bow comes with a Picatinny sight mount and it comes with an Integrate style uh, arrow rest mount. This has everything you would want in a bow that costs $530. It's also got a really nice draw cycle, very smooth and linear. I'm, I'm very happy to report all that. You know, the fit and finish is not going to be as nice as you're going to find on the flagship bows, uh, and bears included. But the fact of how much value this bow provides you happily puts it at number three on my list. Number two for me is going to be the PSE Mach 30. Um, I am often not a hugest fan of super lightweight carbon bows because I find they get a little bit buzzy. After the shot, this thing feels fantastic. I don't know if it's the new dampener up front or if they've just done something with the general design of this bow but it feels fantastic in the hand after the shot, at least in my experience at the ATA show. It's also a beautiful looking bow. This riser is slick looking. This one's dressed in Cryptek Obscura Skyfall, which is a camo pattern I hadn't seen before, and I really, really like it. Let's go see who's number one. Number one on the list for me this year is more of a brand than an actual bow. It is Dart and Archery. Um, the two bows they, sh they have that I shot this year that really stood out are the more affordable Consequence, which is a $700 bow, and the, uh, and, the, and the, you know, premier level uh, sequence, uh, 33 specifically. Um, the sequence has the nicest riser of the year for me. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, the Consequence has the exact same cams and they both draw magnificent. These are probably my favorite draw cycles at the show. And if you've been watching my videos long enough, you know that draw cycle is the king for me when it comes to picking bows that I like the best. Um, they do feel a little bit different when you shoot them. When, when, you shoot the, when I'm shooting the Consequence, I'm finding it's kind of the tops are coming back to me a little bit. And when I'm shooting the Sequence, it mostly stays up. Uh, but, but I'm not bothered by either of those things. They're both fantastic. If you need something that's you know, a good value, I think the Consequence is a no-brainer. And if you just want the best of the best, uh, move up to the Sequence 33 or the 31. I like the 33 because I like a longer bow. And that's it, Archery Talk. Thank you so much for watching the ATA Show videos this year. We'll see you all again next year.